WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup. This is the 4 p.m. stock market update. I'm filling in for Tom O'Brien. Uh, let's take a look at where we uh, kind of closed. ES actually at 5,061 currently, off about 0.61% right now. Uh, the Russell trading at 19.61, 80 cents, off about 1%. Uh, the NQs down as well. They're the biggest losers for the day, uh, trading at 1.25%. Uh, YM 37,968, below that $38,000 level. Uh, gold contract trading at 2,388. Currently, silver at 28.36, copper 434, and then crude oil in the futures right down at 82.77. That's off from. Uh, that 85 level that we were looking about, which is good going forward. Love that. Uh, Disney down slightly as well. They've been kind of giving up uh, some of the gains they had, um, but again, on low volume as well. So we might get a retest of this last day with volume or a little bit close to it, uh, but in reality, we'll probably stick around uh, this area for quite some time. Again, just not a lot of action, um, relatively speaking. Let's take a look here at this uh, the, the economics market has, has really changed, right? And I'm wondering kind of what to make with this article from the Fed, right? It's saying the lowest pay U.S. workers will accept for new jobs has soared, right? Uh, of course, you have a lot of these articles coming out saying this is the cost of living, this is how much you need to make for comfortable cost of living. And I think this drives, this was done for a lot with a lot of young people, right? And this is from the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, income there is a lot higher just because of the cost of living. It said the regional Fed's uh, bank survey found that individuals now require on average uh, more than $10,000 more to switch jobs than they did in 2021, uh, which is super fascinating. You had more people who were unemployed, and this is the highest that have reported since July 2020. And so you kind of ask yourself, you know, what, what is going on with it, right? People aren't switching jobs. They're demanding more money to switch their jobs, which it, in my opinion means they're okay with the company they're in right now. And you're seeing less people get these higher paying jobs, but more people are demanding more money for them. It, it's a very strange thing almost. Obviously, inflation is a major part too to like asking for this. But I think too, culturally, uh, because I see it in people my age and a little bit older, there's this really, really, really weird drive. Um, I don't know. I don't know. To kind of like make it at all costs, which is a strange thing for me. Anyways, folks. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. This has been a fantastic time. I believe I'll be on tomorrow morning uh, filling in for Tommy O'Brien, and we should have Tom O'Brien on at 3, and then Basil, Steve, uh, Larry before that. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day.